Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a more complicated circuit using Kirchhoff's uh, loop rule. Um, so we're going to jump right into it, it is a pretty long problem. Um, so we have this circuit here that's grounded in um, five locations. And we're supposed to find uh, the voltage at these certain points here, as well as the current I1, I2, and I3. We're given the voltage is 32 volts from the battery, and the um, R is equal to 1 kilo ohms. So to approach this problem, um, we need to find um, the total current. So I'm going to call that I0. And notice here that we actually have a fourth uh, current here, since these are um, in parallel. So we have I1, I2, I3, as already shown, but we're going to draw an I4 here because that current also splits apart as well, even though the problem only asks us to find the first three. But we'll need it to solve the problem. Um, when these, when that grounding symbol is there, that just means that the circuit's connected to the earth. Um, that's what it means by ground. And for simplicity, what you can do is you can pretend that at all the points where it's grounded, it's still a perfectly... Um, conductive wire. So you can just draw this as if you would see like a circuit you're typically introduced to introduced uh, to with a simple circuit where everything is just wires, resistors, capacitors, batteries, etc. But this is going to be an all resistor problem. Um, and we're going to use Kirchhoff's lo loop rule, Kirchhoff's loop rule, and uh, we're going to do four loops. So loop um, on the far left there, number two, number three, and on the far right. And the law pretty much says that um, the voltage uh, the sum of voltages equal zero as you go around a loop. So, oop, didn't you didn't see that? Uh, so let's do loop one. Loop one, uh, we have right here. So we're gonna have the total current coming out of the battery. So we gotta subtract, or we gotta take it from the battery. We subtract um, the total current going through that first R right there, and then we're gonna go um, through R. Um, the I1 current right there, and that's multiplied by a resistance of 2R, because remember, V equals IR, so the, there we're subtracting voltages, and that is going to be equal to zero. Um, remember, I0 we defined as the sum of all uh, the current, I1, I2, and I3, and I4, so you simply substitute that for I0, and then combine like terms, and you should get this equation uh, for your first equation. So, boom. There's our work for the first loop. Now let's try a second loop. So here's loop two. So what we do is uh, we start and we take the total current, which I wrote up there. Oh, let me explain that. So notice how we had the total current going through and then I1 splits away. So that means uh, the total current minus that I1 current that's splitting away is going to be remaining which, since we know the total current is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4, which is the total, um, then we can um, redefine it as I2 plus I3 plus I4 as that current um, going towards V2. So then we have that volt uh, current times the resistor, resistor, and then we also have the current going um, down by I2, and then um, subtracting the current from I1 since we did the full loop, so that's the one over there because if you draw the loop, I'll explain in a minute. So you combine like terms and then you get the uh, second equation here. But we have our loop drawn as such like this. So we defined uh, positive here, current's flowing this way, then current flows this way, it's also positive. But then the loop would also be going up here, but notice I1 saying no, it's going down. So that means we have to subtract here. So let's make sure you watch out for your signs. We'll leave that there. Um, then we got uh, loop three. So loop three, um, we have the same situation again. Why the current is written that way? Remember, just the current keeps getting subtracted away. So you have the total current minus the diverging currents from the parallel portions of the circuit, um, and then you add uh, the voltage across I three and subtract the voltage from I two because it's, the current's flowing the opposite direction in which we have drawn the loop. And then we combine like terms, just doing the math quickly here since this is a long problem, and you get your third equation. So let's go back here. So we had our second equation for loop two, and then we have our third equation now for loop three. So now we still got to do loop four, so let's go to loop four. So then we got our uh, current going through here, um, and we can have our loop four is simply uh, I3, which is down there is coming out that's diverging from the total current and then we're going to add the um, vo the voltage drop that's passing through 
uh, the resistor with of 2R, um, and that has a current of I4 as we defined, and all that is equal to 0. Uh, now, we got all our equations, so now we can set up a system of equations. So, we got our equation 1 from loop 1, our loop 2, our loop 3, and our loop 4 equation. So you can solve this, and it would take a really long time, algebraically, pen, paper, pencil, paper, whatever, you go, you know, crank it out, um, plug and chug and all that. You can also set up a matrix by taking the coefficients of the matrix there, and we're looking, and we're looking for the variables i1, i2, i3, and i4, and setting that equal to um, the regular coefficient. Um, so zero in this case we have, we subtracted or we brought VB to the other side. Um, so, but remember at the beginning of this problem, um, it says that R is equal to one kilo ohms and VB is equal to 32. So you can actually plug those values in here to your matrix. Um, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. What I did here in MATLAB. So I used MATLAB and um, I made a matrix um, and I put all the variables across. So I made R one here because it's one kilo ohm. And then I simply did an augmented matrix and included the coefficients on the right, on the equal sign there, the B portion of the matrix. And all you do is you input those numbers in, use semicolons, do RREF as reduced row echelon form. And then you'll get the output down here if you run your program. Um, and you should see that 8, um, 8, 4, 2, and 2. So that's the I1, I2, I3, and I4 that we solved from. How do I know that those are the correct ones? Well, uh, remember... Um, these ones pretty much in the top left means I1, the second one in the second row means I2, I3, I4, etc. So I1 equals 8, I2 equals 4, um, I3 equals 2, and I4 equals 2. Now this is in milliamps because remember we used um, kilo ohms for a resistor, so the conversion would be as follows, and we know that summing all those up would get the total initial current, which is 16 milliamps. So I used MATLAB um, to get the numbers there. So things seem to work out okay, so we got that now. But we're not done just yet. Um, the problem asks us to find V1, V2, and V3. Now this isn't across the resistor, this is at a certain point um, on the circuit. And um, for finding those, um, simply you take, for V1, you take the total voltage minus the res uh, voltage across the resistor at that point. So we have the voltage from the battery minus the um, total current going through um, the, re the first resistor from V1. So we know the total current, or the battery is 32 volts, that was given, and then we simply do Ohm's Law, um, and we find that it would be 16 milliamps, which was the total current, times 1 kilo ohm, and that would just be 16 volts. Um, then we do the same thing for the second one, except um, now we have to use V1, um, because that was the current on its, or uh, the voltage on its way, or the from the current, okay, so just like we subtracted from the source, now pretend the new source is V1. That's a, bit, that's a good way of looking at it. And then we have to subtract the, cur the um, voltage going through um, the top part, the top resistor um, f crossing V1 and V2. So we know that that current is I0 minus I1 times R3. Look at our loop rules if you're a little lost. And then you uh, get 16 volts minus 8 volts, and that's 8 volts for V2. And then finally we do the same thing for V3. So you find whatever the new quote-unquote source is, which is now V2, because we're going from V2 to V3. And then um, you subtract the, res the voltage across the resistor that from the path that you take. And we know that the current going through that is I0 minus I1 minus I2. And um, I, I previously labeled this R, R3, and R5, so don't worry about the labels. We know R is 1 kilo ohm. So just doing the math, and you'll get uh, V3 is equal to 4 volts. And... There, you solved the whole problem. We used MATLAB, we used our knowledge of uh, circuits, the Kirchhoff's loop rules, and look, we did it. So, great job. Um, this is a really cool problem because, it, you know, it's kind of what, you, in, you know, what you've learned from engineering, physics, and coding, it all starting to come together now. So, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was a lot of fun to make, and uh, keep practicing.